Hello, Columbus City School families. I hope you all had a wonderful summer break. We are less than a couple of days into our first day of school this year. We are all in doing this together. We are anticipating our teachers, our students, our principals, our staff, everyone to be back into our Columbus City School buildings and to kick off the first day of school, the anticipation leading up, we have decided to sit down with our superintendent, Dr. Talisa Dixon. How have you been? How's your summer been? Oh, my summer has been great. We've been planning and working every day to get to the first day of school. And so I am excited. I'm excited to be at the bus stop the first day and to go visit the many sites and see the beautiful faces of our staff, our students, and our families. Now, it has been over a year since our students have been back in our school buildings five days a week. Mm -hmm. Have we been in contact with our health officials? How do we get to this point? Yes, we've been working with Columbus Public Health and they have been at our side along the way. Dr. Mashika Roberts and her team, we're just grateful for their insights, all the information they have been providing for us so that we can make the best decision for our students and families and return our students and staff back to school safely. What are some of the safety precautions that we're taking in place? Is it masks? Is it universal masking when we're in our school buildings? Mm -hmm. Who can be in our school buildings? Yes, yeah, so um, we decided to continue our practice from last school year and in summer. So our summer experience, so we had almost 8,000 students and they wore masks throughout the summer. And with the guidance of Columbus Public Health, we decided to continue that. So our students will be wearing masks and our staff, so it's not optional. It is required that our students and staff wear masks. We will still keep those mitigation um, strategies in place that we had before. So you will still see plenty of signage, you'll see sanitizing stations. We want to make sure that our students and our staff are safe at all times while in our Columbus City School buildings. And I know Woodcrest, our all year round school just started what was it, a couple of last week, a couple of weeks ago, yes. they're back in our school buildings. Yes. They were super excited. The kids, some of them seemed a little nervous, but they were glad to see their teachers. Yeah. You were out there. We have a new principal that yeah. is also there. Yeah. Talk to me about how it was that day. Yeah, you know, just to have a clap in, even with our masks and our students were getting out of the cars with all of their school supplies, even in their masks, the teachers were so happy to welcome and clap them in. And as you stated, the new principal, oh my gosh, she was just as excited. So that's what we want for all of our students and our families. We want our students to start the first day feeling like they belong in our schools. We're caring teachers, caring leaders, and we're just excited that they'll be able to be back together with their friends and their teachers. It's an exciting day for all of us. We're anticipating beautiful weather. Um, and it's going to be a good day because we've been preparing for this for a long time to have all of our students back five days a week. So we're excited and all the hard work has been done and we know it's going to be a good year for our students and our staff. Now I know some of our families have decided that they, um, they still feel with the pandemic because we mm -hmm. are still in the pandemic yes. and we do yes. recognize that. Mm -hmm. um, we have decided that we have something called blend ed yes. uh, for some of our families who have elected for our students maybe to kind of take it a little bit slower and still kind of yeah. learn at home at the same time but still get that great education can you explain to us what that is and so we as you stated we wanted to make sure we provide an additional option for our parents who were not quite sure but still wanted to be a part of the Columbus City Schools family so we decided to leverage technology, we've been using technology, and provide a different experience for our students than the one we had this past school year. So students will be um, uh, learning online, online platform, but they will have the opportunity to come in a school building, do field trips, they will have access to a teacher and a mentor, um, just like our other students will in the classroom. So we wanted to make sure that that experience was provided for them. I'm looking forward to revisiting um, some of the blend ed classes. They're gonna be at the zoo, they're gonna be at the coastside. So they are going to op, um, actually have an opportunity to see the city that they live in while still learning the majority of the time at home on an online platform. So it's a great experience for those families who still were not sure, but still were committed to Columbus City Schools, but utilizing this new platform. 
We have some really exciting new things leading up to August 26. We have our new middle school, our world language middle school. What other exciting things do we have for the district this year? Well, we're just happy that our students would be able to be involved in their extracurricular activities again. Um, just as a reminder, in the spring, our students were very limited, um, had very limited involvement, but this year our students can be involved in all of those activities again safely, of course. We're going to make sure that they have their mask and that those mitigation strategies will still be in place. But that's exciting for our students to be back in their classrooms involved as they were the prior year and in the spring they were with just half their cohort. So that's exciting for our students along with the new middle school opening up. So last spring, you along with our board went ahead and approved our portrait of a graduate and the board goals and guardrails. Can you talk a little bit about what that is and what it means to our district? Yes, so the portrait of a graduate is our community's vision of our hopes and dreams and aspirations for our students in Columbus City Schools. We spent over a year working on that design and I'm so happy, we're so happy to announce that we have six attributes that we want our students to master during their 12 years in Columbus City Schools. So what that means is now our team is now building the portrait lessons and we want our students to graduate with the option of having a portrait of a graduate sealed on their diplomas. So we are so excited about that, so excited to build that with our students and our staff and to show the community that these six attributes are so important to our students that it is a part of their curricular every single day. Now, like I said, we have a couple of days left leading up to yeah. August 26th. What would you say to our students as we get them geared up to get back into our classroom? You know, make sure you go to bed on time. Make sure you start eating well. I would say to our parents, make sure that our students have a good, nice rest. Uh, make sure they have their breakfast in the morning at home. If not, they will have a nutritious breakfast waiting on them at school. Make sure that they have their mask in their backpack and wear them when they get on the school bus and in the school building. And most importantly, make sure that they have those Chromebooks charged. We're going to continue to use our Chromebooks. We don't want to go back to just paper and pencil. We're going to continue to use technology and I know our students are excited about using technology. So we want our parents to know that Columbus City Schools is still going to be a safe place to learn. Our staff and our principals are ready to welcome you back. You're going to see fresh landscaping in front of our buildings. That is a, that's a good thing. We wanted our buildings to look refreshed and warm and welcoming for our students. So I'm excited. I will be at the bus stop the first day welcoming and greeting our bus drivers who are so important to our organization. Our bus drivers are really the first teachers that our students get to meet the first day of school. So we're really excited to welcome our bus drivers back. Welcome students, welcome families. Columbus City Schools is happy that you are going to be a part of our family again this fall. Well, Dr. Dixon, thank you so much for taking the time to sit thank down with you. us. We can't wait to see you out there yeah. on August 26th on Thursday, greeting our families and our students and all of us being all in doing this together. Yes, thank you. Our families, our CCS families, if you need more information about our reopening plan or our COVID mitigation strategies, just make sure you go to our website. We have everything laid out there for you. That is www.ccsoh.us.